Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. This is actually the first video of the year 2022. So first of all, I have to say Happy New Year. I hope that you are enjoying the new year. I just uh, have the best wishes for you guys. I hope that everything goes really, really well for you. I hope that you can achieve, that you can uh, go for the things that you have been wishing for, that you have been wanting. And yeah, the best wishes from me to you guys. So let me put you right here because my hand is getting a little bit tired already. So, okay, we're good there. So tell me, how, how was your, the holiday season, Christmas, the New Year's, what did you do? Uh, because in my case, I didn't do much. So as, as you already know, I just moved here. We just moved here um, and we don't know anyone. So we're just by ourselves, but at least it's good that I have the company of my partner because or else it would be like a little bit hard because it is already hard. So I have my family um, in another country and I will have to say that for Christmas I cried a little bit, but it was a little bit harder for me for New Year's. Like, um, Let's say that Christmas is important in Colombia, but like New Year's is a whole another thing. Like that's the day that you are with your family, your friends, all of your loved ones, and you celebrate the New Year. It's like the biggest celebration during the month of December. So I just got a little bit nostalgic and I cried a little bit. So I didn't celebrate, I didn't do much. I was just at home, I drank a, a, a glass of wine had some delicious food with my partner and yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. So, okay, guys, not much has happened. As you can see, um, the place is still a little bit empty, pretty much empty. Um, not much furniture. I have been looking for a couch like everywhere, but everywhere I look is it's just like not my style or something. Well, I am a little bit picky. So I am trying to look for something that is affordable and looks nice as well. Uh, but everything that I have been seeing is way too expensive, not my style, or the delivery like takes too long, like three months, few months. And I just need a couch, you know? I have, I have been so tired of just hanging out on the bed, watching my shows, or the other place or the other area that I have to hang out is the dining table, which, I mean, it's not the most comfortable thing. So anyway, so the plans for today is to go out, look at some, probably if, if we have luck, um, probably get a couch and to get some curtains, some decoration. All right guys, so I am about to head out, but first I want to show you today's outfit. So I am wearing this light blue, oh wait, what is this? What is this? I cleaned this mirror yesterday and it's all patchy. It looks dirty, but I swear it's clean. Uh, I'll take care of that later. I will fix it later. So anyway, I am wearing this light blue sweater from Sara. And I am wearing my culottes, my white culottes from Sara. These white pants that I love very, very much. Because as you can see, you can wear them in a really dressy way or casual way. And you always look put together. My white mules from Sam Edelman and my... and I want to show you today's outfit. So I don't know if you remember in the last vlog where I promised you that I was going to show you what I got at H&M because during that vlog I went to H&M and yeah, so I was absent for a while and I got to finally wear the items that I got. So I got this blouse from H&M. I got it in the dark khaki color and I got these pants as well. They are a bit long, so I will probably have to take them to the tailor, uh, but they go really well when you wear them with heels. I actually uh, posted a reel on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do it because I have fun making those reels and that kind of gives you some ideas of 
how to style those things. So anyway, I created a reel a styling this outfit with heels, a little bit more dressy, and this is a little bit more casual, I will say. The other thing that I want to show you is another item that I got. Give me one second. This is the other item that I got, a sleeveless sweater. And I really like it because as you can see, it's really long. So the way I will wear this is with a belt to cinch in the waist. All right, so I finally have the moment to show you what I have been getting. I want to say that I have been getting this, the things that I have in front of me for the past few months, two or three months I will say. Uh, these are not things that I bought just at once uh, and these purchases have been like really, like I have been trying to put a lot of thought on them, like I really like to analyze the, um, my purchases, like how to invest my money like in a good way, so if you know what I mean. So first I want to start with something really exciting. This was actually my Christmas gift from me to me. I wanted to treat myself to something special and actually I wanted to also, let's say, help the need that I, that I had for this item in, in my wardrobe. So I was looking for a belt, a belt, um, a thin one specifically because I am a big lover of accessories. So I think that they can make, you can have a total simple or basic outfit, uh, but you just put like some cute accessories and that can change the whole aspect of it. So I was looking for something thin because the rest of the belts that I have in my wardrobe are thick belts, like the average size, the width, um, but I needed something really thin that I will be able to wear with dresses, with blazers, with coats, especially now that we are really close to spring as well. So I ended up getting something really special. So this is the item that I ended up getting for Christmas. So as you can see, it is the saddle belt from Christian Dior and I love it so much because as you can see, the leather is really smooth. This is a 20 millimeters um, width. Um, and as you can see, the buckle, it's not too shiny. The gold is not like, not like not so out there. And I really like that. Uh, you can see that obviously it has a logo, but it's not too much. And I think that you can pair this with so many things. So I ended up getting the size 75 and I think that it was a good size because, and I actually recommend sizing down if your plan is to wear the belt like around your waistline. But if you want to take it a little lower, just go with your regular size. So that's what I ended up doing and guys, I am in love with this. Um, it's everything I was looking for. I wanted something special that I will be excited to wear. Um, something, I don't know if you can relate to this, but I am, I have some items in my closet that I look at them and I'm like, I can't wait for the time, to have the time, to have the, 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 what am I going to say? Like the time or the, the situation, the occasion is the, the word that I was looking for, uh, to wear you, you know, to, to put you with the rest of the outfit. So, uh, yeah, this is the item that I that I'm really excited about. I wanted to treat myself to something nice. And Christian Dior is one of the uh, luxury brands that I love the most. I actually um, was considering a lot of options when I was looking for this belt. So one of the favorite, the other favorite brand that I have is Celine. So I have talked about Celine accessories and I was really tempted to get the Celine belt as well. But I ended up going with Dior because, I mean, it's one of, like, Dior is here, like, super special. So I will eventually get a Celine belt as well. All right, so I actually had to take a pause and close the blinds because, as you were able to see, I was getting the sun in my face. And I don't want to get blind. It is a little bit uncomfortable when I am talking to you guys and I have the sun coming through the window. So for the next item, I have something that it was actually a need, but I wanted to make it special. And I also uh, was looking for this for the longest time and I didn't have any luck with like finding something that, that I would really like. So I am talking about a pair of boots from Stuart Weitzman and yeah, so let me open it 
open the package with you guys. All right, so these are the boots that I ended up getting. Uh, these are the Keelan boots. I got them in the size six and a half. I always go half a size up with boots because I, I like to wear like thick socks underneath inside the boots. Um, so yeah, I ended up going for these riding boot style type of boot and it is exactly what I was looking for because I love to wear boots. I am a big lover of boots and I am wearing my black boots with the heel all of the time and sometimes I was feeling like okay maybe it is to I am dressing up too much to go to a simple occasion or situation or place um, and I need something a little bit more casual so all of the options that I was that I was able to find online was like the the, the trend that is going on right now with the boots with the chunky uh, bottom with the chunky sole and to be honest that's not really my style so I am going to pop a picture of what I'm talking about here I I mean if that is your style is completely fine uh, but I think that my style is more more classic more like timeless and I think that those type of boots are a little bit too trendy so I wanted something a little bit timeless but all I was able to find online was like stuff with belts with buckles not really my style, not really my sh the shape of the boot that I wanted. So, moving on, I want to show you something else that uh, I got uh, for Christmas. And this is like, it wouldn't be like a present, it would be more like a work tool. Because I have been, I have been thinking about vlogging a little bit more and creating more content for you guys and get serious this year. The item that I'm talking about is another camera, especially, specifically a vlogging camera. So I ended up getting the Canon PowerShot G7X, the Mark II. So uh, this is the old version because they came out with a Mark III. So that is the newest version um, and I was doing a lot of research and to be honest, I just went with the safe option, you know, that this camera has been working for a lot of people um, here on YouTube and it's the go-to vlogging camera. I think that there is another one which is the Sony, I can't remember the reference, but it's really similar to this one that I'm talking about. So the reason why I didn't go with the newest version is because I, I was reading a lot of review, reviews, I was watching some videos here on YouTube and everyone ended up saying the same thing. So even though it had some improvements, it will just uh, overheat, the out of focus was not good enough, like while people were filming, so I was like, uh -uh, I don't want to mess with that. That's why I ended up going for the old version and play safe. So I have been enjoying this little, this little guy. Um, and I really like it. I mean, I have this camera that I'm filming with, which is really good as well, is the Lumix G7. Uh, you can film in 4K, something that you cannot do with this one. Um, this one is just 1080p, like the regular, like the maximum uh, quality that you can get with this one. But with the one that I'm filming with, I am not filming in 4K right now, but it has the option. Um, the camera that I am filming with, the Lumix, Panasonic, Panasonic Lumix, uh, has the option for an external microphone, which is what I'm using right now. This one doesn't. So the reason why I went with the Canon Mark II camera is because of the size. That's basically the reason. So um, I, I always found myself like wanting to vlog things, uh, filming something with a better quality than my phone. Uh, but it was too bulky. I couldn't put it in my purse and I will always have to uh, detach the lens and it was still too bulky and I wanted something like this. So the good thing about this camera is that the, how can I say it? Oh, I don't have the battery here, but the lens goes inside, it, it, it retracts itself and it's really nice, I like that. And the colors, the colors are a little bit more realistic, more natural than the camera that I'm using right now because the colors are a little bit more, a little bit warmer with the camera that I'm using right now. Um, but I mean, if you want me to go in, into detail with 
about a comparison between the two cameras just let me know because I think both of them are around the same price I think the Lumix the Panasonic Lumix is a little bit mm, cheaper a little bit more affordable for the longest time I was keeping an eye keeping an eye on this item and it was always sold out in the same color my size and I was like why 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 so I was like a hog like keeping my eyes on the item always checking if it will come back in stock so I actually got lucky because when I went to get it it was the only item left it was there was only one left and I had to get it so I am talking about this beautiful Aritzia dress uh, I got it online and this is the daydreamer dress um, in the size is small and in the color I can't remember the color but it's basically the the only green color that they have available it's like a sage color and I really really like it because you already know how much I love pleated skirts and this one is actually pretty similar to the troll skirt from Aritzia the brown one that I have the one that I that I recently showcased on my Instagram on the reel so as you can see the details are just so nice there are two versions of this dress they have the long version I didn't want that one because I feel that one is more for fall and winter even though it's beautiful in the same style but longer I went with the mini version because I mean spring is almost here like in a month and a half um, and so it made sense to get the shorter version so I can wear this in, in the spring and in summer as well so I love it because as you can see it's double line I mean it has extra fabric underneath of you know the whole torso and your bum it covers the right places but uh, on the sleeves which are a balloon type of sleeves um, they are see-through so yeah they're really nice and I love the detail that it has in the back as well good morning everyone so it's a new day and I am actually really really excited because today I get to see my puppy again so I don't think I mentioned this before in, the, in this vlog uh, probably in the previous ones but um, my dog is already like pretty old he's 12 so he has been having a lot of health issues so I want to briefly explain this so you can have some context and uh, so basically one of his nails fell off he got a really bad infection and the infection the bacteria started eating his flesh he ended up having to get an amputation in one of his toes uh, that never healed and the bacteria continue I mean the infection continued like getting worse and worse and worse so um, we went to the doctor to the vet and uh, this person basically told us like you only have two options uh, get another amputation go higher with the amputation or apply the shot like put him to sleep which I obviously don't want to do because I love my baby very much um, I am a dog mom and I love my puppy so 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 much so um, yesterday he ended up having surgery so they ended up chopping his leg like above the knee I would say about the the middle of the his femur and yeah so he spent the night at the vet at the clinic and it was one of the hardest nights I couldn't sleep at all I probably looked tired um, I only slept like I only slept like a couple of hours just thinking like um, he's cold he doesn't have water he hasn't eaten anything he's missing us I mean our puppy is really attached to us uh, so when he when we have left him well when he was younger in a kennel he wouldn't eat um, that would take like one week two weeks without eating and he will be like in bones so I know how he is and that's why I was so worried but thankfully today um, we get to see him so. alright guys so I have many many things to uh, update you on uh, I need to catch up on so many things um, I know I need to address the elephant in the room why I have been so absent from social media and YouTube Instagram and YouTube um, and I have to say guys like I want to be honest with you and this is probably something that everyone goes through at some point of their life and is that for the past I will say five six months uh, I have been struggling with uh, my mental health. I have been feeling like really anxious uh, to the point where I cannot 
sleep um, I just lay in bed for hours and it just it's extremely hard to fall asleep I cannot shut down my my brain and my thoughts and everything and I feel really anxious about everything I have also been like really sad I don't I don't want to call it depression but yeah like I have been feeling sadness and uh, the fact that my puppy has been really really sick and we have been considering to put him down um, doesn't help at all <laughs> just because uh, when I start talking about it I start sobbing it's like a really sensitive topic for me um, and I have been trying to uh, just think about so many other things and start doing so many other things so many, so many other things to distract myself uh, but yeah also um, just the holidays the holidays these this pa the past year just hit me really hard because um, it wasn't like that before since I moved to the US but this the, the, the last month like December hit me really hard I started missing my family a lot uh, I was FaceTiming them on while they were celebrating uh, Christmas, um, while they were celebrating New Year's Eve, as I was talking about it before, um, and I just, I, I can't help but start crying, the nostalgia, um, it's been a couple of years since the last time I saw them, and I miss them a lot, so ugh, many, many things have been going on. Um, also, I have been a little bit down, I have been, um, feeling a little bit under the weather uh, sometimes I just don't want to get out of bed I start considering or um, thinking about what is the purpose of, of life <laughs> and I don't know if I am having a, um, a life crisis or something like that which is completely normal because everyone goes through that at some point of their life I have been feeling pressure because you get at some age where everyone is expecting you to have a career uh, this and that financially um, to get to be at some point and I just feel pressure you know um, so yeah I haven't I haven't been feeling well and I will be lying to you if I post a, a picture on Instagram which will be really easy to to fake a smile um, but I will just be lying to myself and lying to you guys so that's why I have been so absent also the fact that I moved um, let's say that it distracted me a little bit uh, because I was really really busy and I didn't have the time to start to be active on uh, YouTube and Instagram as well so yeah that's that um, and I am basically like working on myself putting my life together um, and for this year I am prioritizing my mental health I have said that I am going to be far far away from drama I don't want drama in my life. I have been for the longest time. I have I have allowed people to have opinions about my life. I have been a people pleaser, which I am setting boundaries, and that's not happening anymore. Um, and, and 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 yeah, I, I just don't don't want drama because drama is like the cause of everything. And and, and I am a really sensitive person, um, and that affects me. So. All right, so that's that. I hope I am not leaving anything behind, the things that I wanted to talk about. Uh, what else do I have to say? Um, so yeah, uh, actually the other day I was on TikTok. I love going on TikTok because people, you can have a laugh there, you can learn a lot. And uh, the other day I was watching this video of a guy, which I don't remember the name. I don't know who it is or else I will give credit uh, for the things that he said. Um, but I think he was a psychologist or some type of professional about mental health or something else and he was saying something that it really got me and, and I was like yeah he's right so basically uh, when something happened to you happens to you and um, this thing touches you somehow it's okay to uh, let it affect you but for maximum like two or three seconds you know like you acknowledge that you feel anger, sadness, uh, happiness too um, and it's okay to feel that but if you allow yourself to keep feeling that after those few seconds it is a choice to stay mad, angry, sad or in this case happy as well so I was like this person is completely right and that is 
the way I am going through life from now on. So uh, yeah, something else, okay. That is the negative side. I am prioritizing many, many things, my mental health during this year, and I want to um, keep working on myself, keep working out. Uh, I am starting to eat a little bit better. That also helps. And yeah, so that's for mental health and for personal goals. I have many things uh, that are private, but uh, something I want to talk about is uh, education. So I want to learn a new language. And I am actually like a little bit upset because I was supposed to start classes on January, like mid-January, French classes, uh, but I missed it. Like I was too slow with uh, signing up for everything. So I have to wait um, a few months, I will say, so I can go ahead and take action on that again. Uh, but I am making it happen. Um, I have been really interested about learning French, learning another language. Um, I love Italian as well and I can actually understand a little bit of Italian because some words are really similar to um, Spanish so I can understand what a person is talking about. And another language that I am really interested in is German. Uh, that will be a challenge, that will be something really uh, challenging uh, yeah but it would be really nice to learn the language and needless to say like to go there and have the experience of living in those countries or at least visiting those countries and learn from the culture because that's something that I love and I am really glad that I had the opportunity to come to the US um, to to experience what I once dreamed of experiencing while I was learning English in the first place because when I learned English it was the American type of English the English from the uh, the US so guys that's that uh, I am setting goals I also wanted to tell you uh, that I have seen many many new faces here uh, on YouTube and on Instagram as well so I was thinking uh, why not making a get to know me type of video um, like yeah, like so we can talk about many things you can make questions uh, but I was actually actually thinking okay why don't we make it like a little bit fun and make it like assumptions about me so if you want to know a, something about me just drop your questions down below your assumptions uh, I will eventually make a video out of it and yeah that will be really fun so yeah guys so I am going to eat Something small before I leave the house to go and pick up my puppy. After that, I am just going to run a little bit of errands. I have to stop by the grocery store and get a few groceries. And that's it. So, if I don't get a chance to say bye to you, I just want to say thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for listening to this parrot, as we will say in Spanish. Like, because I have been talking a lot, like non-stop. Um, I will continue uh, making videos. Uh, I am actually filming with the new camera right now, the vlogging camera. Let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, so I can be more acting active on YouTube, um, make more videos, more vlogs. And if you want to see something from me, uh, just let me know. Just drop your suggestions for videos. And yeah, thank you so much guys for hanging out with me. Um, I love you very much. I love you and thank you so much for showing me the support that you always show me because I have been getting the sweetest messages on Instagram um, and even here on YouTube as well telling me that you're missing my videos, telling me like why are you so absent, um, that you can wait to watch another video and that you have been learning from me. Imagine how cute that is, like, like I will have never imagined in a million years that someone will be saying that to me, it, it means the world to me and I just want to say thank you for your support in the first place. So yeah, I love you guys and I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye. Alright guys, so I am about to head out to pick up my puppy. I am really excited about it, but I wanted to show you today's outfit. So I wanted to wear this vest with this blouse underneath of it. Um, that I haven't worn in a while and I love the preppy look that I get from this outfit uh, I am wearing my Celine sunglasses 
my Dior belt. I love it. So you see how thin it is and it goes perfectly with, uh, with things like this to cinch in the waist. I am wearing these black leggings and of course my new boots. So um, yeah, guys, something really casual, perfect for uh, running errands or whatever, picking up your puppy from the vet. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. It looks really casual, but you look cute and you look dressed up. I forgot to tell you, these boots are currently available in they are reduced in price, so go and grab them because they are totally worth it. So comfortable as you can see, and yeah, I love them.